got a little bit of a thought experiment. Let's say you go to a doctor and um, he tells you that with very high probability you're going to live to be a thousand years old. How is that going to change your investments, your retirement strategy, maybe your family planning strategy? Maybe it's in your good genes. So your kids are also going to live to be a thousand, maybe even longer because there'll be even better technology. How will that change all of those plans? Like a little bit of a thought experiment. I'll let you think about that for a few seconds and then I'll, I'll tell you my answer. Well, the answer is going to depend on what it means to live to be a thousand years old, right? If it means that I'll get sick when I'm 75 and then be put on life support for 925 years, oh my god, I don't want to take it. My, my biggest, num my number one investment in that case would be to carry around a cyanide pill, right? That would probably be my number one priority. Because if I'm incapacitated and somebody can't legally make that decision for me, right? Okay, now the other possibility is that living to a thousand means that you're aging 10% the speed of the average uh, person today, right? That I would sign up for. And actually it would make my investments a whole lot easier because let's think about it. On your 401k, chances are there are options for how much risk you want to take, right? So for example, if you're 18, your portfolio mix is very different than somebody who's 50 years old, right? So I still invest like an 18 year old. Um, and so, so the more, the longer you have to recover from your investments, the more risk you can take, the more re reward you can reap from that, right? Which is really good, it's doubly good. Because not only do you have a longer time, but each year also your money also grows that much faster, right? So that's your opportunity cost for doing things that age yourself a lot, right? Obviously, I'm optimistic about living to be a thousand, but even if I don't, I'm optimistic that I'm aging a whole lot slower, which gives me more time to take risk. A lot of people say I'm taking a lot of risk by investing 70-80% of my portfolio into precious metals. I don't feel that's a whole lot of risk because I balance it by keeping my body young, right? That's my other big investment, right? A lot of people don't see it that way, right? I was reading an article one time about part of the reason that Social Security is in so much trouble is because fewer people are smoking. When they made the projections for Social Security when Reagan was president, smoking rates were a whole lot higher. They were closer to 40-50% and they were projected to stay that way. And when e-cigarettes were invented, that caused a whole lot, that, that instantly caused a trillion or two trillion dollar hole in Social Security. Bullshit! I mean, the only reason it worked out that way is because Social Security's age is fixed, right? If you had to actually physically be 65, right, as in your uh, body's age, right, to collect Social Security, it would be an even stronger position today, right?